Hi, fourth graders. Uh, it's Mr. Steinberg again. Back to uh, kind of introduce the uh, social studies portfolio called the Northeast Portfolio, or also known as the Famous Immigrant Portfolio. So first, what I'd like to do is I'm going to show you, you're going to find this in Lesson 6, um, Unit 1. Sorry, Unit 1, Lesson 6. And then um, as you're going through, you can see it's going to say you have two days to complete this lesson. So as you go through the lesson, uh, you're going to come across right here where it says these are the directions for the Northeast portfolio. And these are the instructions right here. But also I'm going to show you uh, more complete instructions along with some other resources and an option. There is another Flipgrid opportunity if you are interested. And I'm going to show you that as well. So when you're done, when you do complete this portfolio, what you'll do is when you submit it, you'll go to um, step number five, and this is where you'll submit it right here. This is the, um, the Dropbox link. So let's take a look and see um, exactly what it entails. So if you click on this link, the Northeast Portfolio Direction, this is going to pop up. You're going to get something like this. And here it's going to tell you basically what you're going to do is you're going to choose somebody that um, lived somewhere else and now either they live here in the United States or maybe they lived here in the United States because they've already passed on. And this is a list of people you can choose from, but you don't have to stick to this list. This is, these are suggestions. So like it says right here, you may choose someone who is not on the list. And in a few seconds, I'm going to show you the person that I chose for my uh, famous immigrant portfolio. So after you make a, um, you make a choice, what you're gonna do is they're gonna send you to Scholastic Grolier online so you can learn a little bit more about that person. Of course, you can find other websites as well. Um, and then they're gonna give you a link to a concept web. And the concept web looks like this. Now, if you, um, I'm gonna leave this up, but if you choose the Flipgrid option, this right here is the only actual thing you'll need to upload to the Dropbox, but if you choose the essay option, you'll, you'll upload um, the essay and not the uh, concept web. So throughout your essay, you're gonna be asked to focus on these guiding questions. They're gonna ask you, or you're gonna explain, what was their life like before immigrating? It should say immigrating, immigrating to the United States. Why did they come to the United States or to America? Um, where in America did they live, if you can find out? And how, how did she, how did he or she actually come to live within that community? Again, if you can find out, but um, I think maybe the most important part here is maybe when you get to this question right here, what, what was their contribution to the country? What did they do? What made them kind of stand out to you? Why do you think their contribution is important? And then what, what can we learn from their, from their perseverance? So then you'll, you'll draft an essay. Uh, let's see, hopefully three to five sentences, you know, for each one, if possible. Um, and then you can go ahead and read through the directions here. You're going to want to revise, maybe have somebody at home read it, read it with you, and then make some revisions and additions. Um, if you don't, if you turn it in and I feel like we need more, I'll send it back to you and I'll let you know um, what you can do to earn full credit, even if it's not complete. So I think that's I think that's the first option. We do have some um, we have some resources in our Google Drive. One of them you'll find here, and I'll have this link. This is basically the directions that I just read, but we have a folder where there are examples. Let me see if I can find that folder for you. Let me go here. Here's a fourth grade social studies, semester B portfolios, Northeast portfolio, and here are some samples. So you can find the directions here. You can find some samples from students in the past here. So we have a couple of samples here. We have one about uh, Madeline Albright, and then we have one about Albert Einstein. So if you want to look at those, you can. Now, for those of you who would rather choose the second option, you certainly can. So here's what I'm going to show you. If you'd like to, 
you can still choose an immigrant, but rather than writing an essay, if you want to, you can create a Flipgrid. And this is what it looks like. And I'll make sure this link is available to everybody. Um, so here you'll go to, you'll, you'll log into Flipgrid. You know, uh, if you don't have your username or your password, I will send it to you. Um, it's very simple. The directions are the same. But instead of instead of submitting an essay, you're going to take these questions and you're going to talk about these questions and you're going to record your video. So rather than writing your essay, you get a chance to speak your essay. So you can just take some notes and then you can kind of go off your notes and answer these questions. Now remember, it says down here, if you want to complete the portfolio by creating the three to five paragraph essay, you still can. You can find the directions right here. Um, if you choose this option uh, to do the video, you only need to complete the concept web and upload that into the Dropbox. So if you if you choose to do the, the Flipgrid, all you have to do is submit this right here. You fill this out with some of your ideas with your person in the middle and talk about some important factors or um, ideas related to this person and their contribution. And then um, also, over here, there's a um, there's a link to directions, I believe. You if you click on the Google right here, it should take you to the directions. Yeah. So if you need further directions about what to do, who to write about, you can click on that link. Otherwise, if you're ready to get started, or if you want to choose this option, you can see there's a video that I created <clears throat> where I discussed my famous immigrant, Martina Navratilova, who was a famous tennis player from when I was a child. So if you want, you can watch my video. Unfortunately, it's three minutes long, but um, you know, uh, it still it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do if you want to choose this option. So I hope we get a lot of friends who want to do this because I think this is, will be pretty fun. And remember, if you choose to record the video, you only upload this into the Dropbox. Remember, the Dropbox is located in step five. So if you do the Flipgrid, you come here, upload the uh, the graphic organizer, the concept web. If you choose the essay, then you just upload the essay here. Okay, so I hope I hope that clears it up. I hope that makes it pretty clear. Um, and I hope you're interested. I hope people will be interested in kind of reading to us um, or speaking to us. And remember, if you're if you're not if you're not comfortable about being on camera, there's an option when you go to record a video to choose microphone only so you don't have to be on camera. You can just talk into the into the microphone or your computer. And if you need help with that, just let me know. But um, I think that's it. I think I've taken up enough time. Uh, so yeah, so you have two options, right? You can you can write the full essay, um, including your your website, your citation where you learn the information, or you can create a Flipgrid video where you present your famous immigrant. All right, thank you, fourth graders. Just reach out if you have any questions. Bye.